Did you know that Vikings didn't actually call themselves Vikings? As this term doesn't apply to any specific group or tribe of people, doesn't that sound fascinating? The Viking Age may have ended around a millennium ago, but the Vikings continue to capture our imagination today, inspiring everything from cartoons to fancy dress outfits. That is a proven fact. So, for today's video, let's uncover the 10 most terrifying facts about the Vikings. But before we get into it, do me a favor and smash the like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button for notifications whenever a new video is published. Number 10. Swords Long axes and spears were among the weapons used by Vikings. They even utilized their shields as attacking weapons. Their long swords, on the other hand, were their most valued weapons. The Vikings assigned their swords names like Widowmaker and Corpse Bramble, and they handed them down through the generations. As Viking boys got older, their dads would tell them stories of all the men who had fallen due to the sword. It enables them to pass along their family history while also instilling a sense of dignity in battle. The swords were double-edged and sharp enough to kill a human limb or cut through a human head in one swipe. The men slept along with their swords, which they carried at all times and generally on their backs. Men were required to protect their houses, their families, and assist in protecting the leaders and their property. Number 9. Magic Mushrooms Between the late 18th and mid-11th centuries, the Vikings were Europe's most potent fighting force. When the Vikings went into combat, they would enter a trance-like state known as Berserker. It gave them a significant edge over the people they attacked. They would slaughter everyone who came into their path indiscriminately in this state. The Vikings may have reached these Berserker states by eating Silobicin mushrooms, according to one hypothesis. It's more often known as magic mushrooms. The theory, first published in the American Journal of Psychiatry, is that mushrooms that flourished in the Vikings' location led them to suffer hallucinations. It's also called the Berserker State by raising their adrenaline levels. Number 8. Viking Soup Even though the bloody and violent fights were a feature of Viking life, women were well-versed in war wounds. Viking women in particular had a method of determining the seriousness of a stab or slash wound. They'd make a soup with onions, leeks, and herbs for the wounded warrior. The ladies would smell the wounds after eating it. They recognized the wound was deep, and there was no way to repair it if they smelled the broth. With death approaching, the ladies were unable to assist the warrior. Instead, they would devote their time and resources to only those soldiers who might benefit from their treatments. Number 7. Games The Vikings were known for their brutality, so it's no wonder their games made the UFC seem like a ballet. Death and significant injuries were frequent in Viking games. Men were allowed to quit playing any time they chose. As a result, if they were killed, it was entirely their guilt. One of the games they played was a swimming competition, which we use broadly. The goal of the game was for the men to submerge an opponent for as long as they could. He drowned if he couldn't reach the surface. If the games weren't risky enough, brawls and battles might break out at any moment. According to one report, a six-year-old child smashed another kid's skull with an axe after the latter had roughed him up earlier in the match. Number 6. Home Gang The Viking legal system is quite different from today's laws. Notably, insulting someone of a higher social rank was prohibited, although murder was not necessarily illegal. If someone was murdered, for example, the killer may be killed by the victim's family. Naturally, this resulted in long-term back-and-forth blood feuds. Home gangs were another method of resolving conflicts. A home gang was not a gang of gangbangers that adored actor Ian Holm. They were conflicts, some of which ended in death. It was a duel in which one person challenged another person, whom he believed had mistreated him. It was scheduled to start within a week after the challenge. The person who was challenged was immediately declared guilty if they did not show up for the duel. Number 5. Sexual Slavery The Viking Age is said to have begun in 793 AED, when raiders, most likely from Norway, attacked the Lindisfarne Monastery off the coast of northeastern England. Until 1066, the Vikings raided communities and monasteries throughout the European coast. However, no one knows why the Vikings started raiding in the first place. One explanation proposes that Viking males desired women due to a shift in the male-to-female ratio caused by gender-selective infanticide. It has prompted some researchers to assume that the primary motivation for Vikings conquering various parts of Europe was not to plunder. 
This theory is supported by DNA testing conducted on modern Icelandic residents. They looked at the mitochondria that are passed down from your mother and father. According to their research, 80% of male migrants in Iceland originated from Norway, whereas 63% of female migrants came from the British Isles. Number 4. Infanticide The Vikings wanted their kids to be strong since they lived in the Nordic region of Europe where circumstances may be very severe and violence is a part of everyday life. Everyone, even children, were expected to work in Viking society. All boys were expected to fight as they grow older, while the girls were supposed to help around the house, among other things. If a child was born with a deformity or had a severe problem, they were often left outdoors and perished of exposure. Number 3. Child Sacrifices There were allegations that Vikings performed human sacrifices as a result of Christian teachings. The monks who wrote such articles, on the other hand, were never present at the event. As a result, many people have rejected the writings as propaganda. On the other hand, humans are said to be the ultimate sacrifice in Viking texts, and Odin is said to have commanded it. However, until 2011, there was no proof that Vikings had made human sacrifices when human bones and sacrifice jewelry and swords were discovered in a Viking encampment in Denmark at a place renowned for religious ceremonies. This discovery also supported an earlier idea of the discovery of children's bones in a well. Children are said to be sacrificed in different situations by the Vikings to reconnect with the gods. Number 2. The Blood Eagle According to mythology, it was subjected to a particularly brutal method of execution known as the Blood Eagle, which was only reserved for nobility. The victim was pinned on the ground with his hands bound behind his back. The real fun came after that. The back of the guy would be carved in the figure of an eagle with expanded wings. The ribs would then be chopped one by one from the spine with an axe. After that, the bones and skin were peeled back to give the victim's back the appearance of wings. It was allegedly done while the victim was still alive, which was crucial for the following step when salt was rubbed into the back wounds. The lungs were taken down through the back to put an end to it. Witnesses could see the lungs discharged their final breath, giving the appearance of fluttering wings. According to their literature, the Vikings represented the execution in their artwork, and it occurred at least twice. The modern study is focused on determining if the blood eagle was indeed carried out or whether it was only a metaphor for what the execution went through. Number 1. Eric the Red was too violent even for the Vikings The Vikings were bloodthirsty warriors who were notorious for their cruelty. Eric Thorvaldsson, on the other hand, was a little too aggressive for them. Eric the Red, as he was called, was born in Norway in about the year 950. While Eric was a youngster, he and his family went to Iceland. For Eric, this would become a recurring topic. Eric's nickname came from his red hair and that he was a violent and aggressive person. In punishment, one of the man's kinsmen, Eyjolf the Foul, slaughtered the servants. Eric murdered Eyjolf and a clan enforcer. Eric was expelled. Eric and his family got relocated to the north. On the island of Oxney, they established a farm. Fran and Dula, a new neighborhood who was constructing a house, asked Eric if he could borrow some wooden beams. Eric was convinced, but when he got back to them, Fran refused. Eric was expelled once again. He and his family were the first people to set foot on Greenland. Eric spent the rest of his days with his family in one of the colonies that had been established. So which part of the video shocked you the most? What are your thoughts about these Viking facts? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications on our future content. With that being said, see you in the next one.